there is no reason for you not to get T1. Hey guys, before we start the video, if you guys are interested in getting advice and help from me and other Summoner's War players, feel free to join my Discord where the link is in the descriptions below. Also, if you enjoy my content and want to support me, become a Patreon where the link for it is also in the descriptions. I want to say I appreciate all the support and believe me, I really do. Anyways, that was it. Let's get back to the video. Hi guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another account review in Selmna's War. Today we are in Mina Jui. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it in Korean, but it's Ju Yu in English, I guess. And then Jihyo's account. The account owner is definitely a very big fan of Twice. He's a Patreon. He wants to know how to get to G1 in regular arena. He has been stuck in CD for a while from what he said. So I'm going to try my best to give him some valid advices and propose him to make certain offenses and try out this defense. And then we'll also talk a little about RTA because he wants to condense his box and believes that his box is currently way too big. So let's get into this account and see what we can do. A quick look at his record. He has a shiny toy, which is the Artemel. I think that's his only LD Nat 5. And you can see that his arena record is C3 with RTA being C2, twice land. Okay, yeah. Apparently, his account is showing me, is portraying a true twice fan. Okay, let's go right into his box and see what kind of units he has. Now, he does have the Tiana. I see one unit good for offense. Do you have the Leo? And you do. Is it built in double nemesis will? No. So kind of saddens me to see Leo's like this because it tells me that you haven't tried out my second turn team that I recommend to so many accounts. I've gotten many people G1 with a single second turn team and I still see people having trouble getting a new record without even trying it out. So I think making a second turn team offense will definitely help you. You also have the Leah. Yeah, so you have a fast team, you have a slow team, and then you have the mediocre team that I like to say, the mediocre speed team that you only take into tanky offenses or tanky defenses, which is the Tiana team with the Pung Bag, and then finally with a Debra. Yeah, you essentially have the entire set for arena offenses. There is no reason for you not to get T1. And I just saw your rune quality on the Tiana, on the Leah. They look pretty good. That's a pretty fast Tiana, 310. Definitely faster than mine. 34 speed there, 31 there, 27, 28. These two runes are def these these two runes are definitely carrying you, but yeah, they're awesome runes. And then you have a Leah that's also runed pretty well. I mean, I'm saying it's pretty well because at least you have the 100 crit rate. You have the speed. And the crit damage and attack actually does not look too shabby. So seeing all of this, it surprises me that you're saying that you can't you can't get G1, because I'm pretty sure you can pretty easily at that as well. Maybe it's an arena defense issue, but arena offense wise, I'm going to say there should be no problem with you hitting most to all the defenses out there. Let's go into his runes. So we know he has some fast runes, right? We already saw his swift sets, but we'll take a look at it again. We'll, we'll look at all the slots. So 31 there, 27, 25, nice. Good runes there, 27, 25, 25. Good runes there as well. 28, 26, 26. Your swift set is pretty stacked. Definitely better than mine. Oh, wait, but this slot is pretty weak. 24 and then 21. So slot 5 is a little weak. And then slot 6 is 27, 24. Yeah, slot 5 is a little weak, but I think your other slots are definitely able to carry you. You could at least make one really, really fast set. And to be honest, you could even make a second pretty fast set. I think your swift runes are in a pretty good place. Let's take a look at your violent runes. 28, 23, and then 20. Nothing crazy. 29, 27, 24. Pretty good slot 3. 28, 27, 25. 26, 24. 28, 20, 20. Well, we know that there are fast runes. Each slot at least had one fast rune. 
and then some had a second fast rune, but mostly were around the 20 ranges. Still a pretty good set. I think it's still equal to mine, or it could be even better than mine, because again, Violent Runes is not all about speed, although I am only looking at speed in priority. Violent Runes are all about efficiency, right? And seeing how, seeing how his runes are all grinded, I'm pretty sure that he has efficient runes that I'm not looking at right now. So I'm going to say that you have pretty nice runes here. Finally, Will, 25, 21, 25, 24, 27, 27. Okay, that's a good slot. And then 24, 21. So slot 5, another one that's weak, but still efficient seeing your runes here. And then finally, a 34. That's like a really awesome rune. Yeah, that's a beautiful, beautiful rune. Love to see that. And then another 28, another beautiful rune. Wow, you're so lucky. Then another 27, holy cow, this could be a 28. That should definitely be a higher higher gem, plus grind. But yeah, rune quality wise, I don't have much to say. I think you're doing really, really well. If one thing that you really want to improve your rune on is then probably your artifacts. I think in this state of the game, unless you're going for that one other super fast rune, the quickest way you could improve is to get a better artifact this is the current defense you're running and you have a pretty good defense right here 36 percent but it is fighter 2 however when you got c3 your defense rate was 32 percent so that's actually really really good really really good but your attacks look pretty low not the victory rate i'm just saying the number of attacks so maybe you're not rushing or even or is this record with your rush so if I had to recommend a defense, I'm okay with this fast defense, to be honest, since you do have a fast swift set. It's just that the Triton does not have the fastest one. I understand that as well. You probably want to use the fastest one in your offense, but um, definitely usable, but not the greatest. That's what I want to say. And there's no will either. So it is a Leo second turn team food that I like to use and that I want you to use to get your new record. Smash on a swift set, I understand that because you want this to move in front of your... Well, actually, why is it so fast? I would just want it to move in front of the cocky. But after the Savannah, because I want I want to go in after the Savannah's defense break. This is 262. And this is 264, it looks like. No, that's 274. Is that speed difference too much? I think even with the 33 speed lead, I think Savannah will move after the Samath. I mean, we could check it out. Let's see how it goes. Is this outspeeding? It's not. So let's just take a look. I mean, we're not outspeeding, but that's the point. I want to see how that moves. Oh, look at that derp. That's a fine derp. Okay. Because nobody here is on will. Sleep. Nope. Okay, this team is pretty fast. Oh, yeah. See how Savannah went? I mean, see how Samath went? That's a problem. I would change that. I think the Savannah should go first and then the Samath. If you want your defense to work better. If you are thinking of a tanky defense... I used to always use Artemo if I had him, but I don't think he's that great in defense anymore since the cocky came out. So I'm going to stop recommending the the Artemo. Instead, let's just go for a tanky defense, a pretty standard tanky defense. Now, I'm not saying that you have to run this since we know this is a very generic defense. Although I have to say it does work, especially against cleavers like me. Um, it is a lot weaker against the Leah Cleave, so I understand why you don't want to make it. You're like, I have Leah, it's so vulnerable to that to that offense, it loses too many times. Just forget about it. I understand that. But for cleavers that use Tiana mostly and go for resetters, if they fail to reset like any of these three, they're kind of screwed, right? Well, actually these two, the Ariel and the Triana. And I think the Ariel not being reset is even is a bigger issue. I just think that this is a good defense. It's it's so RNG heavy with it being 100 resistance on 3 units. Still to this day, people say with 85 accuracy, you're not gonna resist anything. That could be true, but even that 15% plays a big part, right? Come on. Molly's 15% glancing happens all the time. The 15% resistance can 
and might happen all the time too <laughs> during a rush and during a rush one resist is huge right either you prolong the game or you get the win so i will try this defense i will try this defense since the other one is just so easy to cleave if they have an escher sadly yours is slower than the triton but there are a lot of eschers there are a lot of accounts that have better runes on their eschers so that they could use their leah or whatever fast team cleave to go against these triton defenses or clara defenses so i will try that tanky team and see how it goes now for your arena offenses so we saw this one i think it's fine i just think i would give a better swift set to the escher i don't think the tiana needs to be that fast since i know you're not going to be using the tiana for for fast defenses anyways like there's no way you're going to be taking your tiana into defenses like this right but you know that you're going to be taking your escher team into this because you have such a big base speed um, and you can't contest this because there are a lot of people that don't give their best swift set to their triton so i would give a better swift set to the escher and speed tune the team to the faster escher and see how that goes maybe you could get a harder hitting leah well leah i think should do fine i just think that you have to probably um tune this better maybe the Chu needs to, well i usually don't recommend a swift set but if the escher gets faster maybe you have to do a swift set because you can't get it on a violin set and same with the galleon maybe you could add in a fight set here and there too yeah this is what i use the most but I don't use the cocky, I use the pungbek. I just think pungbek is much better. I see why you're not using it, it's not scaled up, and also you don't have a 100 crit rate, maybe you're going for the lead. You are using your pungbek here, but not with the lead. And you do not have a second turn team. Yeah, you're, you're just making me sad. You're just making me real sad, guys. So definitely a second turn team, right? You could even go with the Al Alaya Azeros. Guys, I showed it. It's a it's a good team. It's a very good team. <laughs> to be honest, it's a very, very good team. But uh, ignoring that, you don't have a Delphoi? Oh my goodness, you're making me so sad. You're making me so sad. So please get a Delphoi and put your Leo. Uh, what's a good AoE damage dealer that you have? That doesn't need speed. I guess you have to go with the cocky for now. Or you could even put the pung back here and see how it works. Yeah, that's what I would do. Let's put the galleon here and then let's put a uh, cocky here. And then you'll put a Delpho here. Just remember that, okay? And then another team that I'll make is with the Tiana. Again, with the galleon, the fast galleon. With pung back. And then the Debra, right? We all know that this offense is extremely, extremely strong. And here you could go with the pung back lead. Knowing that you only have 24%, I mean 86% crit rate, with the lead, she sh he should have 100% now. And I'm just gonna tell you right now, I believe, I'm pretty confident that you could reach at least G1 in regular arena. Just, just rush better. Now RTA, definitely a pretty big box here. Win rate is 62%. Oh, are you playing special league? No, I, I'm not playing special league either. But yeah, 62% is pretty good. If you kept playing, you would I think you would have gotten C2 at the very least. Even at C2, you have a 64% win rate. So I don't even know if you need my opinion right now or my advice. I think you want to seek advice and opinions when you hit a wall. But with a victory rate of 64%, I don't, I don't think you have reached the wall yet. But here, let's take a look. Let's see first if everything is scaled up. Because if something is not scaled up, you take that out. That's the very start. Don't force yourself to use units that are not scaled up. So Chiyu, seeing that you're not really going for first turn team, there's no reason for you to take a Chiyu. Uh, but it does look like most to everything are fully scaled up. That's really nice. I would scale up the Asher, especially if you're gonna use it in RTA. The first things I'll do is probably, if you have a Sekhmet, I'll replace it with the Ginger Brave. Ginger Brave is so in inconsistent. I'd rather go with the Sekhmet. It brings in more utility, but you don't have her. So, okay, use the Ginger Brave. Now, if I take out anything here, I'll probably take out this girl. There's no reason for you to force force yourself to use this. Your rune quality is, is really nice, giving that vanilla this this kind of rune set. This should be your leftover runes, right? Because I think your better runes should be on the Riley with 100 res. Ooh, okay, maybe you sacrifice the resistance for the speed, but I do like a 100 res Riley. Seeing your team, I'll take out the Chiu as well. You have one, two, three, four, 
five. Yeah, five AoE strippers. I don't think you need an extra one, which is the Chiyu. Yeah, speed lead, speed lead is good, but seeing your team right now, you don't really need a speed lead. You're going like second turn. You do have a pretty fast swift set. Can you go first turn? You could actually go first turn, but I don't think your box suits it really well. I think first turn only now really works if you have, well, if you see a Babo, that's not really the case. I was, I was about to say if you have the box for it now, uh, first turn is really the way to go. But seeing a Babo, he uses most of the non-meta, well, he uses most of the non-LD nat 5s and still does well. He just has to top low. Uh, maybe you could try mimicking his kind of play style because you do have the Praha. It's just that his Praha is plus 190, right? So it's a totally different story. His second turn is technically a first turn. Well, that kind of rune quality, that kind of violence set is not really even a second turn anymore. He's He is going for first turn. But if you want to try that and go for a fast type of team, definitely go with the Ryu with the fast despair set. If your despair fast is, is this fast, then I don't think you could, you could go first turn anyways. Uh, you will have to stick to second. But if you could get it faster to like 180, then I think maybe you could try for a first turn team with like the Barbara, with the Praha, with the fast fast violent with the chung pun with the fast violent masha fast violent nemesis fast violent carnal fast violent um okeanus and you can maybe go that kind of team with the escher and also finally do you have the tableau i know you have some good net fours but no no tableau so without the tableau i don't know how well it'll work but again you could always try right it's not it doesn't hurt to try but yeah i think your box overall is really nice seeing your rune quality i do think you have the rune quality to rune all these units up they are all ruined but if you want to up the speed for your entire team you'll probably want to force yourself to take to get rid of like 10 units here that are violent because those are probably all the runes that are being used the most and then focus those on some other core units like this Molong. This is only plus 139, maybe make it 150, right? Shizuka, make it 150 something, right? Right after the Molong, because you want all your control to go after your strips. Ryu, like on two on 280, then Juno, maybe like on 270 if you could get it, get it. But again, that requires pretty good rune quality since these are both are going to be on despair. And then your Molong, another 260, 270 unit. Um, Chung Pang following right after or going in front. I like it already. It's on Violent uh, Will, 273. The thing is, the accuracy is a little low. I'm, I'm hoping you're getting more here. 5% seems a little low. So you sacrifice a lot of accuracy for speed. I don't know if that's a good choice. Could even go Despair, but then that'll be three Despair sets that are really, really fast. So I don't know if you have a room quality for that. Double range, triple range, cool. Uh... I think for one season, I'll try at least. Go for a really, really fast team. Like your Barbara and Escher will be the two units that take your fastest swift sets, right? For your booster and control. And then, yeah, force yourself to get rid of units that you believe that you won't be using, like the second for, uh, that are mainly for second turn, like the Tetra, um, like the, like the Feng Yan, uh, like this Vanilla. And then focus, all your runes, I think, initially on your strippers, your main strippers and control. Because you can even make a team with those five units, right? Strip, control, strip, control, non-stop. So um, see how fast you can make those strippers. And depending on how fast you can make them, your ladder runes should be able to support the damage dealers, the controls that are five speed, max 10 speed slower than them. And if you could get a team with that, try it out, see how it goes. Make sure that you have at least two strippers in your box, at the very least, three the better, um, because right now it's definitely a stripping game and controlling game. The more strips you have, the safer you are to be able to control them. But just remember, there is that one unit out there, the Riley. If it's not on your side, you always see a proc, you always see it bringing everybody back to full health. So just get ready to be tilted, because if you can't support accuracy with all that, with all that speed, then you are going to, you are going to get tilted not stripping anything that's why i think you need more strippers yeah but that's it hope you guys enjoyed it if there's anything else that you guys like to see in summer's world please put a comment below what did you guys think of this review did it help i hope it did if you guys stay till now please like and subscribe it really helps yeah if there's any other twice fans out there put a comment let me know and i'll see you guys next time bye